For Wall Street Media, this is Tyler. I'm here with Doug. We'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hey, my friend. How you doing? I'm doing well. We're, we're bad today, but we've got stuff from Dahlman. Yes, sir. I had a guy over there today as well. So Oodles of stuff, right? Yep. Cool. Um, what do you have, Doug? You can hear all of this at wswcom slash webcast slash Dahlman2. Um, so first up, i got a video for you. We've got Christopher Thomas. He's the CFO of Paragon Shipping. Their ticker is PRGN. He says they've doubled uh, the size of their fleet since the private placement and have more room to grow without returning to the equity markets. Here's the video. When we decided on Paragon's strategy, strategy and business platform in the spring of 2006, we laid down six major objectives. We wanted to make Paragon stand out from its peers by providing shareholders with a company that struck a good balance between leveraging near-term opportunities mitigating risks while providing shareholders with a robust dividend yield and growth potential. We wanted to establish a company that would have longevity and have the ability to weather any downturn in the shipping market, which is an industry that is known to be cyclical. The six major strategic steps that we laid down here have been strictly adhered to during the past 12 months as a public company and have produced solid and consistent financial results. If Paragon was to achieve longevity, we had to ensure that we invested in young tonnage. Today, Paragon's fleet average age is just seven years, compared to the industry average of 12 years for the three sectors in which we operate. And indeed, in each of the three sectors, Paragon's fleet is younger. When assessing new acquisition candidates, we take great care in understanding the vessel's operating history and the technical capabilities of the previous owners. We believe that we've made the correct decision for each of the 12 vessels that we've purchased to date, and our operating performance over the past 18 months is a clear testament to that fact. We also realize the important criteria for charters of versatility and have targeted our vessels accordingly. Our vessels can carry both major and minor bulks and trade on a worldwide basis. Hey, look at these guys, Tyler. Uh, six and a half percent they're up today and a 13.9 percent dividend. This right? is awesome. That's fabulous stuff, right? Um, just, just wonderful stuff. Guys, you saw a little preview clip there. Go to the whole Darwin lobby and listen to it and decide if this isn't something you should be thinking about for your portfolio. These are outlandish dividends, man. I mean, <laughs> just fantastic stuff, right? Yep. In the world of 1% and 2%, right? Um, risky, risky. They're giving you, you know, uh, watch, look at the charts, right? Listen to the webcast, do your own research. But the dividend like that tells me i got to start and i got to have to at least take a look, a serious look into some of yeah. these guys. They're at a... Almost at a 52-week low as well. All, all of them are. Yeah. Are, are right down. Everybody's there. talking down the whole economy yeah. and everything after the election. When we have McCain, um, <laughs> thank you very much. God bless you. Um, then uh, everything will turn out and we'll be we'll be fine. Here, here. What is this McCain? <clears throat> then we'll close up and we'll move China. We're not um, where China. Jim Rogers just said uh, China's more capitalist, or the U.S. is more communist than China. He said that yesterday. We are going to support Smith & Wesson as well. Okay, armed revolution. <clears throat> um, but fantastic stuff. What else do you have? We got uh, Georgia and Pennsylvania. <laughs> exactly. We're going for the guns, man. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Garth's email. He can supply us. Oh, I know he can. <laughs> We've got uh, Faryal Kanbabi. CFO of Britannia Bulk Holdings, their ticker is DWT. He discussed their ability to enhance maritime logistics despite smaller ports because they have a diversified fleet size, which gives them a uh, competitive advantage. They will continue to enhance their fleet quality through disciplined acquisitions. How are All these right. guys looking? Let, let me tell you something. First off, for not telling me about this sooner, these guys are up 15% for the day. Wow. This, I was, remember nice I was work, guys. We're doing the show at right. 7 o'clock. Um, this will be the last that some of you, those of you who don't attend the memorial service for Tyler, will see of him. Um, this is when I see that all these stocks are up 15%, 13% right. dividends. Right. We started out the show with, oh, Tyler, you were at Baird today, but you had a guy over. Uh, so he uh, don't have a phone? 
Yeah. We're a webcasting well, company. We don't have all the technology in the world. You ever met German Mike's? You want these? <laughs> Talk a lot. <laughs> I do. That's amazing, though. Fifteen percent, and that last one I love. Thirteen percent, thirteen point nine percent dividend. Paragon, that is right. Yep. Yep. I, I'm I'm on these guys first thing in the morning. Right on. We got one more for you. This is Philip Clausius, CEO of First Ship Lease. He discussed rapid growth through DPU accretive acquisitions. And no Singapore tax or withholding tax on distribution to unit holders. The company will maintain stability and sustainability from lease portfolio with an average remaining life of 9.2 years and contracted revenue of $909 million. Um, and lease portfolio diversification across five shipping subsectors and eight different lessees. Awesome stuff. Would have been nice if it was helpful to me. Before the 15% jump. I spank <clears> Cynthia <throat> on this program. Dude, you, you stay with <laughs> me. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic stuff, guys. Go to the Darwin Lobby. Watch the whole thing. See what you think of these. Um, if you own some of these, uh, you could actually let us know what you think about them. I think that's fantastic. They all had a great day. Uh -huh. um, and awesome dividends, low price to earnings. Very interesting stuff. Beautiful. Have a good night. We're here every day. Uh, at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at WSMCO.com. Thank you.